Hi, what's up? My name is Luke. I'm Paul. And we are Twin, Twin Sauce. Sauce. We had the opportunity to go up to the Olympic Peninsula in Washington State. Here's the list of the top 10 things we did while we were there and a few bonus things we did while we were in Seattle. We're here with Tommy. We're in Seattle. We are heading to the Olympic Peninsula today. Um, but we gotta get on the ferry first. We're going on the ferry from downtown Seattle out to Bainbridge Island. Uh, out there. Out yonder. Oh, I'm so excited about this. This is so cool. The first thing we did, and the first thing you definitely should do, is ride the ferry across the Puget Sound. It is breathtaking and beautiful. Well, I was trying to figure out where all like the difference is. So there's the space, you know, there's the views of the city and the crashing waves. It just can't be beat. I'll dial 235, are you alive? How I miss a late night driving for six hours in. In my mind, I flip a switch and stop. And random turn off that we see <laughs> to see beautiful stuff. That's right, I do love it because we just like to stop. We just pull off on the side of the road and explore a little and bit. And everyone's like, <laughs> Don't you stop here! Something that I've learned from Tommy is that it's always good to just stop wherever you feel like it and enjoy the scenery. You could tell that we're getting closer to Squim, Washington because you can see the sun. Um, Squim, Washington is under the rain shadow of the Olympic Peninsula, so it's like it gets a fraction of the amount of rain that towns that are, you know, within a close distance. Look up Olympic Peninsula rain shadow on Google and you'll know what I'm talking about. There's like islands out, there's like, like Luke's seen, there's like islands out in the sound that get like very low, or even like Victoria, like. Victoria doesn't get a whole lot. Um, so they call this like the blue hole or something because just how the geographics, the weather, I don't know, I'm not a meteorologist. Ask, uh, ask Nick. Ask Nick. Um, They'll know. In spring, kind of a little comment of the rain, shadows are relatively sunny, windy, and cool, but then right outside of that, they just dump. So whereas like Squim gets like whatever, 18, 19, 20 inches, I think Port Angeles, which is pretty close, like 10 miles gets 10 more inches of rain a year. Wow. This drive follows the Puget Sound and is gorgeous. So is Luke, but who cares? Really? Yeah. On our drive in, I was researching sounds and what makes a sound different from a bay. And a sound is a larger body of water with multiple inlets, whereas a bay only has a single inlet from the ocean. I don't know a lot about it, but it was cool to learn the difference between a sound and a bay. Okay, so Tommy was just telling me. So here's where we're at right now. Let's see. If you can see. So that's where we're at right now. We're headed to Port Angeles to sleep tonight. Tomorrow we're gonna make some, we'll go all over here. That's Forks, where like twilight is set. They go to Port Angeles in the books, and they also go to La Push in the book, but none of it was filmed here. It was all filmed near Portland. Yeah. In the first one. In the first one. Thing. Yeah. I think, like you guys said, I think the other ones were filmed in Canada. Yeah, and I think they had to create a, a false house mm -hmm. that looked like the one from Portland That's for the other ones, because I think everything was shot in Vancouver after. No, I've only seen the first two, so I don't know. I, would, I actually have no idea, so don't wish, listen to anything I'm saying. I thought about it when y'all were in Portland, I would have. We would have looked at all the Twilight houses. Yeah. <laughs> Good to say or what? Are we at the Bellagio? Yeah, that's the Bellagio. Fancy. They got some cool pictures on the wall. I like that. That's fancy. Do we have a view? Of the hit your head with a stick of the of the of the ditch. We got the ditch outside. <laughs> Can you? Do you think it'll work? It'll work. It'll do. This Asian buffet in Port Angeles wasn't necessarily a must visit, but it was really good. Oh, I'm gonna belly up to the feeding trough. <laughs> Is that the rule? That's the rule, that's how you know if it's gonna come true. Hold Wait, on. if you do what? You have to eat the whole cookie before you read the, the. Oh, or it's not gonna, ew. Or it won't become true. I've never heard that. I never have either. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I gotta get started on this if I gotta eat this whole, this whole darn cookie. <laughs> no. I don't know, I have not. I'm gonna cut this out. Put these things are stale. <laughs> you will soon be reunited with an old friend. Well, what happened today? Mm hmm. <laughs> Your investments of time now will lead to success later. Well, Investing all my money. 
You will be honored with a prestigious prize or award. That was mighty tasty, and I feel like I'm gonna just be rolling around this town. <laughs> We're gonna go over to the, to the actual water now. We're a little later than we wanted to be with sunset, but it's all right. We're just gonna go hang out by the water. We spent the evening exploring Port Angeles, and our favorite spot was this little road that went out to the Coast Guard station. It was beautiful, and you could look out over the San Juan Island. That is Vancouver Island, I think that's Victoria. That's Victoria's life. I think. Cool, cool, cool. I need to go to the beach today. I need to do my beach run. Heart <laughs> beating out of my chest. And walking up to your front door. I can still see the address. I dial 235. Are you alive? How I miss our late night drives in 46. How was it? In my mind, I flip a switch and you like the torrential. <laughs> tool for getting you is something I can't. Next, we headed to the Olympic National Park to Hurricane Ridge. It's really clear and sunny right now, so we're happy about it. High tail it up the mountain. Hurricane Ridge. Wee wee wee. There's no snow, but I got no change. <laughs> Hurricane Ridge comes out of nowhere. It's gorgeous greenery, and then all of a sudden, wham, you got snow everywhere. My ears are popping. It's beautiful. <laughs> the visitor center at the top of Hurricane Ridge is really informative. There's a lot of really cool information in there, but the shocking thing is, is that you're really not that far into the Olympic National Park. It's very, very early on in the park. Careful, I'll swallow you whole. It's hard to run in the snow. It's like weird. Yeah, I hurt my hip. <laughs> Gotta get some caffeine before we head up to our next locale. We gotta get some coffee. That was a cool space. That was really cool. After our quick stop for coffee, we headed to Lake Crescent. Lake Crescent was beautiful. We drove along Lake Crescent for a long, long time. We stopped and got some cool footage of it, and you really can't see how clear and blue the water is. It's very freezing cold. Don't fall in. It's kind of an ombre as it gets deeper, from like a clear to a like teal blue to a royal blue, and it's just like cameras don't capture the beauty of this space. After leaving that pull up at Lake Crescent, we headed to Cape Flattery. This is so pretty though. This drive is really pretty. We're driving kind of just along the coast up to the furthest most, farthest northwest point of the continental United States. When you come to the, mo the northernmost point of the continental United States, you do get here, it's on a reservation, and you do have to get a pass. It's $20, you can buy it at this like, little mini mart on the main road. Good thing I brought my boots. <laughs> Cape Flattery is probably the coolest place we saw on this whole trip. I gotta say, if you are in the Olympic Peninsula, you have to check this out. It is the furthest northwest point of the continental United States. 
and it is like the most beautiful little hike. It's not even that long, it's just so peaceful and pretty. awesome planet for us to enjoy all this. I love caves. I love the thought there's treasure in them. Oh. Tommy said it so well. God made this for us to enjoy and man is it enjoyable. It was so beautiful to see the seals and the whales splashing around in the water out there and just to see the power of the water against these rocks and that this has been eroding for a long time because of just the sheer power of the waves, which is fascinating. There was a big whale. This one? Yeah. This one. Oh, there, there's a thing. That was so beautiful. It's, we've been walking, walking back and it's been almost complete silence and just listening to the rain and the sounds of our little feet trudging through the sludge <laughs> but it's still just so peaceful and quiet and i don't know it's just really really nice Ugh. it's really really nice to uh it's really really nice <laughs> what'd you think tom that was awesome yeah like the viewpoint and like you said the walk back with the ferns and the rain yeah. it's like the trees and the mud mud squish 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 Ten I, out of ten, best new Olympic Peninsula. Find. Find. Yeah. I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta pee so bad. This rain is making me need to <laughs> use the restroom. Now, after Cape Flattery, we did want to head into the rainforest, which there's a HOH rainforest. I don't know how to say it, so I'm saying HOH. But um, on the way to the HOH rainforest is Forks, and we had to stop there. You know, iconic Twilight. Twilight. Twilight you know, you had to stop. It had to grab forks. a burger at Sully's. Yeah, at Forks. Might as well. Like, what time is it? Five o'clock at night? Yeah, it's 4 30. Well, might as well. We are in Forks, Washington. Here's number one. It's <laughs> number one. Right there. And you're good to get a number two. Number two. Number three. Number three. Look at it. Easy. Oh, yeah. Easy. We are in Forks, Washington. Which. The home of Twilight. The home of Twilight. We're eating at, the, at Sully's, um, a little diner. Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited, actually. Burgers. <laughs> Burgers. Got some Twilight Punch. Twilight Punch. Actually, <laughs> that's why I saw that sign. It said Twilight Punch. And I looked at it and I said, what is it? I think I actually, is it like a joke? Like, oh, Twilight Punch. The Twilight Punch. And I read it and I was like, oh, it's an actual thing they actually sell. Yeah. We kept stopping on the way into the rainforest because of all the moss on the trees, but what we didn't know is it was only a glimpse of what we would discover at the HOA rainforest. What are we doing, Tom? We're gonna go walk on this trail. This here trail here. And see the rainforest. We're gonna right. go see the moss on the rainy trees. Look at that big in tree. Oh, wow, that's a, that is a massive tree. Aww. Aww. That's so sweet, Tom. So sweet. I'll dial two, three, five, are you alive? How I miss a late night drives in four, six, how is it? In my mind, I flip a switch and seven, two, forgetting you. It's something I can't seem to do. Even though we were just kids. I close my like bounces. Holy cow. To knock me back to 2005 before you took that. The giant pine cone's gonna fall <laughs> from like 300 feet up and take me out. <laughs> I'm afraid my farts are gonna take out this forest. <laughs> Walk behind me. <laughs> The 
the sheer beauty of the HOA rainforest, and especially the Hall of Mosses, which is the trail that we're on, is just mind-blowing. It looks like a different planet. This reminds me of Pandora. Like, something you would see in a movie, or like just something that's not real. It just doesn't... You're on Pandora! <laughs> Washington, Pandora. All right, we just did the Trail of Mosses. Highly it recommend. Definitely recommend. Feels like you're in another world, like straight up in another world, and it was like really cool. I think. Mars. I think out of everything we've done so far, this and then the, the Cape well, Flattery, Cape Flattery, really, really which is cool. the the north, the farthest north. Lottery, also, late, west corner. Lake Crescent was really pretty. Yeah. I really liked that too. We're not done yet, but this has been such, so a, cool. such a full day of very cool sights and yeah. beautiful, beautiful scenery. It is miraculous how God just made this stuff. And just for us just, to look just at. Just for us to look at and enjoy. I'm yeah. constantly blown away by his creativity and the beauty. Just the beauty that he has given us. Yeah. As, it's so cool. Just as his people. So. I think that we take for granted this world oh, and this planet, absolutely. and I and I'm just so happy to experience it. And I also wanted to show you that in a day you can get a lot done here in the Pacific Northwest. Like yesterday, we left Seattle, we stopped in um, Port Angeles, Port Angeles, and then we just basically took off today, and we've done almost all of this, and it is only six forty-one. Yeah, in the evening. So we are, we've definitely done a lot yeah. today, and there's still a little bit more to do. Yeah, let's keep going. Yeah. Who is this? Is this the Cullens over here in their fancy car? Did they crash? Did they crash? <laughs> Did they, crash? <laughs> they were going too fast. <laughs> After leaving the rainforest, we didn't want to bypass this area without going to La Push because we had heard that there's a beautiful view off its like beach area, like right at the tip. Unfortunately, it was like hurricaning, so <laughs> that was it was really pretty. It just was it was very gorgeous, uncomfortable. It's really raining out yonder. Here in La Push. Oh man, it's windy. We came to La Push. And uh it's beautiful. This is what it looks like. Oh, man. It's a bit breezy out here, isn't it? I'm gonna blow away. I'm gonna blow away. Wow. It's so cold. Welcome to La Push. We left La Push and headed straight back to Port Angeles to our hotel, but not before going to the grocery store to get some snacks. What? I need to take a picture. It's a video. The next morning we headed back to Seattle and we didn't really have a plan, but Tommy did. And he had a couple really epic spots he wanted us to see in the Seattle area. We're like listening to Dateline and we're jumping on a ferry. We left Port Angeles this morning and uh, are headed back to Seattle area uh, to check out a few spots, but we're riding the ferry again. Even though we were just kids, I close my eyes. I'm waiting for the light. at the lookout that represents Fraser's apartment. This is the area where Fraser's view, I guess, for his apartment was taken. There's no building there. It's just his apartment, where yeah. the picture was taken that was outside his window. So just kind of an iconic view of Seattle. It's beautiful. <laughs> so there's my yacht out there. Oh, yeah, that's a nice yacht. I like your yacht. Me too. As you know, caffeine is a huge part of our life, and so the next place we got to see is Victrola, which is in Capitol Hill, Seattle. I close my eyes. I'm waiting for the last thing we did on our trip was we witnessed the Snoqualmie Falls, which was this stunning. Well, you'll see. <laughs> I think we should jump off one of these rocks like Pocahontas. Swan dive. Shred down there. It won't hurt. The movie. Yeah. So it should, should be, be should be fine. Why why aren't people lining up to do that? Was she right here when she did that? Yeah. It looks just like me. 
We're gonna see if we can hike down to the falls at the base. I don't know if this I don't know if this trail goes in there, but we're gonna we're gonna try. I'm gonna go for a swim. Oh, you're gonna go for a dip. I wanted to jump off the top like Pocahontas. You should. Well, you should have just done it. I don't know how to get over to that side. I'm afraid I'm gonna trip and roll down the hill. <laughs> Same. I'm not really, I gotta be honest, I'm not really looking forward to the hike back up. It's very steep, but I've done yeah, it before. I'm for the We've done the grass grind before, so this is not, a, this is no, no big deal. We'll be nice you know? and hungry after we find That's right. the Washingtonian grass grind. That way we can go get some That's, food. Then we can go get some dinner and lunch at the same time. That was good. That was a tasty treat. That was good. What was it called? Buckshot honey. Yum. Bye, Tom. And that finishes our top 10 things you should see in the Olympic Peninsula. This is some of the stuff, stuff we did in a day and a half, and so we think that if you had more time, there's even more to see in this area. I definitely would suggest in some of those areas spending more time than we did. We didn't yes. get to do a lot of the hikes that are prevalent in that area. Um, just because of time. Just, yeah, strictly because of time and the amount of things we wanted to see. So if you have some time, spend some more time in those areas, especially like Port Angeles area. Like what you can get to from Port Angeles is Port, Port Angeles and then also just right into, because Hurricane Ridge is just right inside yeah, the yeah. National Park. And so if it's really, the Olympic it, National I mean, Park is massive. It takes a while to get to Hurricane Ridge, but you're not really into the Olympic Peninsula, like the Olympic National Park at all. Like it's yeah. very, I mean, there's so much to explore. There. There's so much to see, so many animals to discover, so many like views you can find. Honestly, just the ecosystem system alone is wild. It's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up if it was helpful in any way we you could. do go live on Monday nights, so if you want to hang out with us there, feel free to turn on those notifications. And you can subscribe. Yeah. All the things. Wow, and how do we Don't die, K-Bye. How do you end a video anymore? We just say, don't die, K-Bye. <laughs> yeah, that's all we say. Don't die, K-Bye. 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 Uh, yeah, and I think we should have those screens on top here. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna call oh, him on the okay. table now. Okay. <laughs>